Happy. What is up, YouTube? Team View here. Please uh, like, subscribe, hit that bell button, do all that shenanigans. And yeah, we are working on a tutorial here, and you will be learning how to build yourself an auto saw. An auto saw that I use, and yeah. Let me first show you all the supplies you'll need, which is all this stuff right here, and all these blueprints right here. Let me uh, go one by one to kind of uh, say what they are and whatever. All right, so what you will need is, you'll need one funnel conveyor. You will need five straight conveyors. You will need three wires. You will need one lever. You will need one chop saw. And you will also be needing blueprints. You will need one uh, smooth wall like this size. You'll need two uh, the skinny uh, smooth walls. Two of these. You will need three of these. You can either use a smooth wall stub or a small floor, I believe. So either one you want to use, but you need three of them. One, one, two, three, so yeah. And you'll also need two tiles, uh, small tiles. You'll need these right here. So. Those are all the supplies that you'll be pretty much using for the auto saw. And let me just show you what the auto saw looks like. It'll be looking something like this. You'll use the smooth wall like to get the right height for your auto saw so that once the wood uh, starts cutting and once it finishes cutting, it'll drop and then you can also you can place a conveyor that it drops on like over here so that it catches it and then it'll send it to your truck or whatever if you want to do that that's just up to you that's an option i'm not i'm not including that in the tutorial but this is pretty much what you'll be making here here are the straight conveyors and then you got wires you'll use the wires to prevent uh, the plank from moving side to side like you don't want it to keep moving around pretty much and then I use um, the other smooth walls plus the tiles right here as you can see there's uh, two tile oops, two tiles right there underneath the smooth wall the skinny smooth wall these will uh, keep the plank on the conveyor prevent prevent it from flying away or popping off the conveyor that will stabilize your plank that you put on here as it's getting cut and the chop saw is right there at the edge of the straight conveyor it will be chopping the wood right there the funnel conveyor will make the cut piece once it's finished cutting it'll drop the plank down here it'll push it with the direction going down it'll push it onto here and it will go all the way to wherever you need it to go or however you want to set it up anyways this is the best build for a power builder it's not for anyone that makes a wood sorter um, it's not a perfect one by one auto saw but it is a great saw to prevent lag from making a bad cut because don't you hate getting all those kind of cuts where it doesn't fill a print when you have power build that's really irritating and you can't really get a perfect one by one unless there's no lag or you really just start cutting it one at a time and it's just a pain anyways so but this will be best for building and let me give you a little example of how it works so you get your plank oh yeah wait wait before I get that going this is the size of a plank that I use and this is the saw that I use Sawmax 02 
and I set it to X is 2, Y is 1.8, and this saw right here is also a modded saw. You don't have to make a modded saw, you can if you want to, it helps. You get bigger pieces of wood and it's just better. Anyways, as you can tell it is a modded saw, Let's see, triple digits. Anyways, so yeah, for this auto saw, you're going to want your settings on the saw for your planks to be X is 2, Y is 1.8. Alright, so, once you do that and you made your plank, you're going to put that plank on your auto saw rig. It's pretty much going to go in here, underneath this. See, that will kind of keep it st steady onto the conveyor so it won't fly around and it'll cut and then it will take the plank to wherever you want it to go just like that yep all right so let's turn that off all right so that's what you need to build and that's what you're gonna be building so yeah now let's begin building the auto saw step by step or however I can explain it basically anyways so what you're gonna want to start with the first thing you're gonna get is your smooth wall right here you're gonna grab it move it you're gonna want it on its side standing up you're gonna want to find a good place for it just like that all right let's let's move it a little bit to the side hold up so yeah just put it like that standing up like this on the side this will be to um, make the height of your auto saw all right so after you place this now what you're gonna want to do is go for the straight conveyors start getting one by one let's go one conveyor right here just right at the uh, edge of the smooth wall right there you see it doesn't matter how you place it as long as it's you know up there and in whatever direction you want it to go because this is only just to make it high enough so that once the wood cuts it'll come down and drop and go on to a, another conveyor and set it to wherever you want anyway so after you place the smooth wall and now you got the conveyor going on here you're gonna get more conveyors Bam. you're gonna keep placing the conveyors here The straight conveyors just like that you can use four or five however you want to do it but yeah doesn't matter we'll just use all five okay so now that we have our straight conveyor set at a good height Make sure all the conveyors are going the right direction you want it to go. I'm going to make it go this way. So yeah, they're all set in one direction. So that's, the conveyor is done for that part. Now, after you set the straight conveyors, you're going to want to uh, get these blueprints, which is the smooth wall stubs, or you can use... Uh, small floors whichever you want but you have to have three of these so now you just place it at the end of the fair just like half off you know let's see like this you want to place the stubs like this half off half on the conveyor kind of thing and then you just get the other ones place them right on top of that 
And just so you know, you place it at the bottom of the, like right here, at the bottom kind of, of the conveyor. Not under the conveyor, but just the bottom part. And then you stack them up. After you put the three stubs or wall floors or whatever. Anyway, you have to now, once that is complete, you go for the chop saw, which is right here. And then you just get it into the right direction. Put it just on top of that, just like that. See? It's a perfect uh, spot for it. Like, watch. See? That's perfect. Just like here. Just like that. See? Alright, so after you place the chop saw, what you're going to want to do is get your lever and you're going to want to place it right here on those uh, smooth wall stubs or small floors, whichever you use. Just put them right there. Put the lever like that. Get a wire, one wire. You want to connect the lever to the chop saw just like that then once you do that you're able to turn on the saw and leave it on you just leave it running like that see very cool right all right so now you know it's at the right height and you'll be able to cut your planks what you're going to want to do is now you get the funnel conveyor this one right here. Now you will want to have your funnel placed just like this. And you don't have to worry because the uh, chop saw will not be in the way of you placing it because the chop saw is high enough. All you have to do is place it on the um, smooth wall stubs or small floors right against the straight conveyors make sure the funnel is you know standing up like this and then you place it like that and now it's like right at the edge of the, the conveyors like that and it should be pretty good right there yeah see Just like that. Alright, so now after you uh, place the funnel conveyor, you're gonna want to get these uh, smooth walls, uh, the skinny smooth walls. Whoops. And you're just going to place it right here, maybe. Just like that, against the, uh, against the saw, a uh, chop saw, I mean. So yeah, just like that. I mean, you could put it anywhere you want, but it's better to have it closest to the end. Just like that. Just so you guys get a good idea. That's what it looks like. Now you get the other smooth wall, the skinny smooth wall. You're gonna wanna make it flat and make sure you're gonna place it just like this. See, it connects right and perfect. So that's what you're gonna wanna build for that. Now, once you have placed the two smooth walls like this, you're gonna want to get your two tiles right here. Grab one tile. Now you're gonna look underneath this smooth wall right here, the skinny smooth wall. You're gonna try to place these tiles right here, just like that. Get the next one, place it right there. 
and there you go so the two tiles right there the reason for these two tiles is because it, it it's at the right height and also it will keep your plank from flying off the conveyor which is really nice but yeah make sure you have those two tiles there and set like this so after you do that what you're gonna want to do is get one of the wires go to see at the ending of the straight conveyor right here place it right there and then kind of go out like this a little bit not too far because the planks are going to be a little bit big I guess so maybe like there and then, then you're going to go out to here You're going to place it something like this. Now you get your other wire. And you're going to place it at the other side of the straight conveyor. Right to about here. Maybe, I'm not sure how big they are. I forget. If you're not sure, like, if you're making a big enough space for the plank to fit you can always put one of the wires here let me just show you so I have this one wire set like that right I'm gonna go get this plank right here I'm gonna just test it and see how big it is so I'm gonna have to put it uh, right about right there -ish, or somewhere like right here so yeah. Alright, so anyways, it's not an easy thing to measure out and it won't be that easy. But you just gotta make sure your planks are able to fit within the wires right there. So now we go back place the wire and there now you just when you uh, bring your wires out this way you don't want to move it like this you want to kind of have your wires going outwards I don't know how to explain it anyways so just put your wires like this I'm not sure. Oh. Now let's test to see if that's the right size for the plank. Uh, I think I made it too too small. Wait, no, it's good, perfect. See, so yeah, once you put the wires in. Uh, it should prevent it from going too much uh, side to side and the tiles above right here will keep the plank on the conveyor like nice and flat so yeah that's pretty much what you do to build an auto saw now you can test it out oh wait yeah test it out and it should work it will automatically cut your planks for you and the funnel will shoot it down onto the ground oh shoot <laughs> I uh, forgot to change the setting so yeah make sure you have your funnel set down instead not facing up or I mean not uh, yeah just make sure your toggle direction is going down So yeah, that's pretty much the auto saw. Pretty cool, right?
And that's that. Voila! You have yourself an auto saw. Perfect for power builders. It's not made for people that like to sort their wood with wood sorters. It's just for people that like to build. And it's not a perfect one by one uh, setup, but it is a great setup for the right size of planks that you'll need for power build. And basically, the reason why it's such big planks and thin slices is just so that whenever there's a lot of lag, it won't make a bad cut, meaning it won't cut something that's too small for your print. So, yeah. No matter what, even if there's lag, you'll always get a good cut. Yeah, so that's how you build an auto saw, like how I build. And just a double check, and double, or just to show you the size of the planks again. Make sure this X is 2, Y is 1.8. Then you just put trees in and cut them up. And there you have it, an auto saw. It's a perfect auto saw for power builders. Anyways, hopefully that helps you guys. I mean, yeah. If it didn't, I'm sorry, but it should help. It's not a hard uh, auto saw to build. It's pretty simple, it's very basic. And it's really easy to build. All the blueprints are pretty much just things to use to uh, set up the saw and set up the chop saw. I mean, uh, set up the conveyors and set up the chop saw. These these tiles up here are very important to keep the plate on the conveyor so it doesn't go up or fly off. The wires will prevent the planks from moving back and forth or side I mean uh, side to side on the conveyor it'll just be as stable as it can be and then it'll cut it into nice slices that you can use for power builds and yeah anyways I hope you all enjoyed the tutorial and I'll catch you all later peace